Hi guys, in this video we are going to work with semi-tenus equation grade 11. Right, uh, in grade 11 you will be dealing with semi-tenus equation where one of the equation is a linear and the other is quadratic. And remember that the method of substitution will be used in this type of problems, right? So this is our video one of semi-tenus uh, equation. Uh, other videos will follow where we will look at other types of semi tenus equation in grade 11. Right. So without wasting time, let's put this into practice. Right. We have, uh, let's start, oh, sorry, here. It was supposed to be X because I said that one should be linear and the other should be a quadratic. So it's X plus 2Y is equal to 1 and X squared plus 4Y squared is equal to 41. Right. So let's uh, we'll start with the one that has a linear. So we have x plus 2y. Uh, right. Equated to 1. So we will name this equation 1. Then we have uh, x squared plus 4y squared equated to 41. We'll name this equation 2. Right. So let's put this into practice. So... We will choose from equation 1 and 2 which one we want to make it a uh, equation 3. So we'll have equation 3. So let's choose linear and let's make x the subject. So when we take 2y to the uh, right hand side, it will be 1 minus 2y. So we'll have equation 3. So from when you are here, you need to say uh, substitute. That will be our second step. Substitute equation 3 into equation 2 not into equation 1 because you already turned it to equation 3 right so substitute equation 3 into equation 2 so from here meaning that where we see x we are going to replace it by 1 minus 2y let's go to equation 2 then we have x squared plus uh, 4y squared equated to 41 so meaning that where i see x i'll replace by 1 minus 2y so this will be 1 minus 2y squared plus 4y squared equated to 41. Then you square the first. What is the first? Uh, when you square the first, 1 squared is 1. Then 2 times uh, negative 2y, that will be negative 4y times 1. That will be negative 4y. Negative 4y. Then we square the last. When we square a negative number, it becomes a positive. So it's going to be 4y squared. Plus 4y squared. Okay, so cos 2, 41. Then like terms, guys, that will be 1 minus 4y. We don't have any like term that goes with 4y, but we do have uh, the one that has 4y squared. So 4y squared plus 4y squared, that will be 8y squared equated to 41. Then the, uh, let's rearrange this into a standard form. We have 8y squared minus uh 4y equated to 41. Let's transpose 1 to the right hand side. It becomes negative 1. So 41 minus uh, 1, that will be 40. Then we have 8y squared minus 4y. Then we need to rearrange it into standard form again. So we have 8y squared minus 4y. Take 40 to the other side. Becomes negative 40 equated to zero so from here we uh, we have to take out the highest common factor from here you can take out the highest common factor or we could uh divide by four let's divide by four let's divide by four both side or you can take out the highest common factor if you take out the highest common factor it's still it's, it's still gonna be four so how many times does four goes into eight it goes uh twice so it will be two i squared how many times does it goes to four it go once so it will be y how many times does it goes to 40 that will be 10 equated to zero so from here we are going to let's use a cross method 2y and y factors of 10 uh factors of 10 that will be 5 and 2 let's cross and see whether they are correct 2y times 2y oh uh, that will give us 4y then 5 times uh, y, that will be 5y. Then when, when we say 4 minus 5y, we get minus 
y so the, the factors are correct so this will be 2y and 5 as well as y and 2 so what about the signs since the, the, the last term has a minus so the signs will be different uh, this will have a minus sign and this will attain a positive sign then we equate everything to zero so we are going to have 2y minus 5 equated to zero or we are going to have y plus 2 equated to zero so from here we need to make y the subject so it's going to be 2y so cos 2 5 then y when you divide both sides by 2 we are going to have 5 all over 2 or y is equals 2 transpose 2 becomes negative 2 okay we are not done remember that we, so, uh, we are solving for x and y so we are going to take these values uh, and substitute them to equation 3 Yes, so we'll name them equation 4 and substitute them into equation 3. So this is what, let's start with uh, 5 all over 2. So we are going to say x uh, is equals to 1 minus 2. Then where we see y, you replace it by 5 all over 2. So what is x there? We could see that this cancel each other. Then 1 minus 5, that will be minus 4. So we can see that uh, when x... Uh, when x is equals to negative 2, uh, y is equals to, when x is equals to negative 4, y is equals to 5 all over 2. So that's the value of x. Or, now we are going to substitute negative 2 uh, into equation 3. So what, what, what is going to happen there? It's going to be 1 minus 2 minus negative 2. So... This will be the thing. Negative 2 and negative 2, that will be positive 4. 1 plus 4, that makes it uh, 5. X is 5. So in other words, when X is 5, Y. Uh, in other words, when X is 5, Y is negative 2. And when X is negative 4, Y, it's 5 all over 2. So these are the coordinates of the point of intersection remember the simultaneous equation is all about that the point of intersection when we are going to learn about functions so i hope this video has helped you this is our part one video and guys let's grow this community write your own around the and something uh subscribers let's uh, let's do this share the video and uh remember you only subscribe once and remember guys we are growing Thank you, thank you for all of those who subscribe, for all of you who subscribe. We really appreciate. We love you.